Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best. I'm at Gas Axe Chop Shop in 10 Mile, Tennessee with Mr. Tim Dixon. Tim is in the house eating supper. Uh, Tim is on Facebook. Let me get that out of the way. Tim is on Facebook. If you type in Gas Axe Chop Shop, Axe is spelled A-X-E, Gas Axe Chop Shop. I keep spelling Axe because there's different ways to spell Axe. There's A-X and then A-X-E. Tim is A-X-E. I get kidded a lot about that, that I always spell out Axe. But uh, this is my truck, our truck, Mrs. P.I.B. Nice truck. It's a 84 Chevy Silverado truck. It's uh, The name of this truck is Moon Pie. It was named Moon Pie before I got the truck. Now, I bought this tag for it just because it says Moon Pie. But it was named Moon Pie, so we didn't... I mean, it already had a name when I got it. It's a 305 with a 350 turbo. It runs great. But I just... I happen to be in a neighborhood. Just happen to be in a neighborhood. Tim lives quite a distance from me. But let's let's get to the chase. Uh, I'm over here looking at Moon Pie. Like I said, Tim, Tim has a full-time job. He goes home and eats for about an hour, takes a small break from his full-time job. Then he comes back out here and starts doing whatever. Now, the last few days, I think Tim said he's been working on his new business he just bought called Rebel Wire. Rebel Wire. If you need wiring for your car or truck, give Tim a call. Him and his wife, Angie, own Rebel Wire because the people that own Rebel Wire retired from that and Tim and Angie bought the business Rebel Wire and if you do wind up pricing some wire for your car or truck whatever it may be uh, you know tell them if you don't buy them tell them you heard about them from Jimmy on Private is Best my name is Jimmy if you are new to the channel okay my 84 see oh Tim's eating and uh, and I think he might be doing a little bit of work on Rebel Wire and then come out here. I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to be in his way. I asked him, could he open up the garage, turn on the lights for me for just a minute, and uh, look at this truck. I'm trying to do little updates whenever I can. So just so one of these days, one of these days, all my trucks wind up at new homes. They do. I mean, that's just the way it goes on this channel. Primer is best. Somebody one day might decide they want this truck. And I, I'm always right up front. I tell everything that I know about it. You make a des decision, you know, a good decision for yourself if you're interested in one of my trucks. That's, you know, they just mysteriously go to new homes. Okay, I got that out of the way. I'm trying to act like you're new to the channel. Last time I was here, Tim fixed this. There was some rust up under that uh, molding. Tim fixed it. I have brand new molding over at GM Tim 38 on YouTube. Now you need to subscribe to his YouTube channel, GM Tim 38, because that's where this truck is going next to his house, his garage. Tim, okay, I haven't seen this. Tim's fixed this, so he didn't put a new cab corner in. He fixed it. I told him if he could fix it, fix it without having to put new cab corners in. Uh, Tim told me a while ago on the phone, on his way home from work, I asked him could I come by and just do a, shoot a quick video and get out of the way. And uh, Tim said, that's my wife, Miss P.I.B. Tim said that uh, he's going to take this seat out. They're going to take out this rubber mat. Factory rubber mat, going to take it out, and they're going to look at the floors really good. And the reason I say that is, I'm going to come over here, maybe Mrs. P.I.B. can hold a lot for me. It's kind of tight fitting in here. Okay, I'm going to open up the door. And uh, Waylon, that works for Tim, Waylon has a full-time job too. And then he comes over here. Uh, every day or two so I mean they're they're doing the best they can as quick as they can uh, they've cut the rocker out I'm trying to hold this door steady uh, looks like the cab corner still in it uh -oh. 
okay. Mr. PIB dropped her glasses. Uh, cut the rocker out. I've got new rockers. All that stuff in the back, back here. Floor pans. I, I buy everything. So when it comes to Tim Dixon or GM1038, you know, Brian, like I said, please subscribe. Uh, they don't have to wait on me for nothing if I can help it. I think they might be... Uh, Tim was expressing an interest in just cutting the floor out, but I'll show you what's going on at the moment. Uh, maybe I mentioned this, but I, I think I think I did. But Waylon, oh yeah, Waylon was saying he thought maybe this had a, a heater core leaking, which caused all this, all this damage. But this is nothing that. Waylon and Tim can't fix. It's just time consuming. Just time consuming. But like Tim was saying, uh, I think he's going to, he said, I think I'm just going to take the whole seat out, take up all the rubber mat and look at, you know, look at everything real good. Tim and Waylon do everything good. The they, right they're, way. huh? The right way. Yeah, the right way, Miss PIB said. I, I was at a loss for words, believe it or not. Yeah, but they they do it the right way. So I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna patch this. And I don't think I got, I don't think the floor pan comes up to here. But Tim worked on my six. Tim, Tim and Waylon work on all my trucks. Well, you know, fixing metal work. So I mean, I'm not worried a bit. It's it's all in good hands. I'm at the right place, Gas X Chop Shop. So I just want, I, like I said, I was in the neighborhood. Just happened to be over here, not too far from Gas Axe, and I thought, I asked him, could I come over and just do a quick video. So, uh, yep. Unfortunately, you know, those things happen, but that's part of having an old, let's see, this is 84, 94, 2004, 40-year-old truck. Fixing to be 41. So, I mean, that's just, that's just part of it. But, we're going to bring this truck back around and it's going to look great. We're going to do the best we can with it. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, it already runs really good thanks to Brian, GM1038. That's who I bought the truck from. And, uh, you know, mechanically, it's great. It's just needs a little bit of love here and there. It's I'm going to see if uh, Waylon... Uh, Kind of has magic fingers, I'll say. Magic massage. He, I'm going to see if he'll massage some of this out. I'm going to see if he will. We'll just have to see what happens. But that was in there when I got the truck. And I knew it. But it's just such a good truck. Good running truck. And the reason I like this truck, is it's kind of unusual. It's a Silverado. But it came with a rubber floor mat. And uh, there was something else unique about this thing. Let me see. I can't think of it just now. There was something else unique about it. a rubber mat, and uh, uh, it'll come to me later. It's been a long, long day, guys, and I think Mrs. PIB's ready to go home. There's the, there's the floor pan. So... They'll do the best they can and uh, make it look the best they can for a 40-year-old 40, 40 truck. It's not bad. I mean, you know, I was on the phone to Brian just a few minutes ago talking to him. And, of course, he's working on his 56. And, uh, you know, it's hard to, you know, he was talking about this, that, and the other on his 56. And I said, you know, Brian is like Tim and Waylon. They're perfectionists. And he was... Talking about, you know, certain things on the truck that he hopes he can straighten out and stuff, which I'm sure he will, because that's the way he is. But, and I told him, I said, Brian, I said, you can go to the Rod Run or any truck show and you're not going to find something that's not had something done to it, you know. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of here, a little bit of there, trying to make things the best you can. And uh, especially on the budget, you know, everybody's got bills to pay. But, uh, anyway. I don't know how I got started on that. This my my point is this truck will be good. It's a good truck. I thank you for watching. You're watching Property's Best. Like I said, my name is Jimmy. Please like and subscribe if you would, if you want to keep up with this. And I got a 69 GMC truck, Canadian truck. 
It's a 910 short bed step side. It's at Brian's house. GM 1038, his garage. And my 1980 short bed fleet side Chevy truck. Round headlight. It's the Custom Deluxe. It, I know they had square headlights, but the Custom Deluxe had the round headlights. It's a cheap old model. It's over there. And Brian was talking about it too. So uh, when when he's wanting to get started on it. So, I mean, there's a lot of irons in the fire, I'll say. So right now, so it's just kind of, I guess you call it maybe birthing pains. I, I mean, I, of course, I don't know nothing about that. I'm a man, but does that make sense? Anyway, you're trying to get things up and going, you know, it's, you know, I probably shouldn't have said that. And I'm sorry if I messed up anybody's thoughts on birthing, but, but it, but it is, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're like the 80. I just mentioned in the 69 GMC, you know, they don't have a motor and transmission. I've got them now, but they need to be installed. It's it's kind of like giving new life to a truck. Does that, that makes more sense. Kind of like giving new life to two other trucks that'll be coming to our house one day. No hurry. Just one day, whenever, when it's time, it's time. Whew. I don't know how I got started on that, but anyway. If you'd like and subscribe to Primer is Best, you won't miss nothing. If you check out Tim Dixon, Gas Axe Chop Shop on Facebook, I'd appreciate that. Don't forget they have Rebel Wire. Also, check out my buddy GM1038. GM1038. His name is Brian. Check out his YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And uh, you won't miss anything that's going on, guys. It's a real... It's a nail-biter going on. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope the Lord is watching over you just like he's been watching over us. And uh, we are blessed beyond measure. Please pray for others and take good care of yourselves. Stay safe. I hope to see you in the next video. If you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe, you won't miss nothing. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all later. I don't know why Tim's got his, one of his favorite trucks on the trailer. I don't know if he sold it or not. <laughs> Can't never tell about Tim Dixon here at Gas X Chop Shop. Like I said a million times, well, not a million. Like I've said a lot of times, if you ever see anything you like over here that I've pointed out in these videos, please give Tim a call. 423-507-2693. Tim Dixon, Gas X Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. Beautiful here. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one, guys. See y'all later.